Today on Tau Flare Mouse, we're going to be testing out these radiation shields made out of tungsten. They're really hard, really heavy, and really expensive. Welcome back, Tau Flare folks. We've got some tungsten radiation shields here sent in by Jorge Carrijo. And we're going to see what different types of ammo do anything to them if anything even happens to our radiation shields at all. So this radiation shield is seven millimeters thick, as you can see right here, and it weighs seven pounds, perfect for those bicep curls. And this one is eight millimeters thick. I don't know if you can even really tell that one's thicker than the other. And it weighs 10 pounds. Okay, first up is 22 long rifle. For these tests, the plates are set at a slight angle to the right and also lean back a little bit. This is for safety. Okay, so there's no dent or anything, so I don't think it really scratched the surface. It did leave a little mark, probably, I don't know, bullet residue, I guess, but yeah, it didn't do anything to it. Okay, what do we have next? Six hour, nine millimeter. Yeah. And it's just ball ammo, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Am I, am I showing anybody? Full metal jacket, in other words. Okay, go. I'm ready when you are. Oh. Bulletproof is, is a term that Hollywood has kind of distorted over the years. It's really just proving that a plate like this can stop a certain type of bullet. Okay, so again, no dents, no divots or anything, but we did notice this time that there's some bullet residue left, so there's a little bit of buildup right here on it. But other than that, I mean, the tungsten's fine. Yeah, I, I was worried that the 22 was going to break a chunk off of it or something. You know, Okay, test is done. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. Yeah. It's doing well so far. Yep. 45 AARP. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes to clown on my 45. It's it's funny to do that. It's funny. Okay, we're ready. Oof. You'll notice in these tests that Brianna's kind of spreading out where the impacts are. We weren't sure if the impacts would fatigue the metal. So we wanted to spread them out just to make the test a little more fair. Okay, so far the plates survived the 45 ACP, 9mm and 22. Not a dent. No. I'm impressed. This is so cool. What are your thoughts? Very cool. <laughs> I chose the right material for my husband's wedding ring, that's for sure. <laughs> Hopefully it's lighter than seven pounds. Hopefully you don't shoot him in the finger. It'll be good. Like Wonder Woman. Ding, ding. We have Underwood Extreme Penetrator. If any handgun round is going to make it through that tungsten, it will be this. Right. We this had designed. It's impressive. Yeah, this is designed through, designed for getting through like bear skulls and bear hunting and what dinosaurs and. I'm going to fire it through uh, a Glock 20, 10 millimeter. Awesome. Who's going to shoot it? Brianna. Oh, okay. Never shot before. We'll see how well she does. Yep. First time on a 10 millimeter. She never she never shot that 45. That was her only shot she ever took from right. it. And Kapuya. I'm impressed. <laughs> Have you ever shot 10 millimeter before? Nope. All right. First for everything. <laughs> it's like one millimeter bigger than a nine millimeter, it turns out. <laughs> I mean, at least that's what's on the internet. <laughs> there it is. Okay, some something happened on that one. Right. What happened? We've got two pieces now. Well, that's almost twice as much tungsten. <laughs> We've doubled our tungsten. <laughs> doubled our tungsten. See, so it still didn't dent it. Is there? It looks like a little ding there. Is there? There's no. I we no, can't see. Oh, you just, can't feel it. You can't I, feel I it. I see a it mark there. Like Snap it. it like a Kit Kat bar, though. Just, just oh, like a Kit Kat. There you yeah, go. Give me a break. And she again. She never shot that gun before, and she did really well. Yeah. All right, so. Okay, that's our seven millimeter plate. 
Now, let's try the eight millimeter. With, it has no scoring on it. With pistol, or you want to go rifle? Or, or we can shoot another extreme pe penetrator at that one. And see if it does the same try. thing. Because people will be like, what? How can I do with the extreme penetrator? There's no scoring. It broke. It yeah. So this tungsten plate is just like the 49ers. There's no scoring whatsoever on it. <laughs> We're going to see if uh, a round that hits a nice smooth plate front and back, uh, if it leaves any marks or uh, breaks it. But it will not chip it across the line like the, uh, like the lighter 7-pound plate. Let's give it a try. It is. That is loud, that yeah. ring. Yep. One thing that really blew my mind here is how that very rigid, very hard tungsten plate is actually flexing right now. That reverberation is what's actually creating that ringing sound. I was surprised that we could actually see it. It did better. Yes, it did. There's four itty bitty little you can... Trying to be craters in here. <laughs> From that round that you can kind of feel, but other than that, just left some copper behind. That's nuts. That ten, tell, me, tell me a millimeter round is a, <laughs> uh, That's easy for I, you I to say. I am new to your country. <laughs> <laughs> that 10 millimeter round is a, a, is a pretty good thump to it, and uh, it yeah. didn't. She handled it really well. Oh, yeah. That's I funny. think she can handle some of these one and a half ounce slugs, you know, maybe. maybe. Oh, yeah, it's time Maybe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's next? You want to go up to 12 gauge? Yeah, let's go to a buckshot. Buckshot. So, <laughs> with the buckshot, you're essentially shooting nine lead pellets like a nine millimeter at it. It's not probably going to do much, but if you want to show them hitting it to see. I think that'd be do, neat. What do you think? Splatter. I think the kids My would like it. My prediction is they're not going to do anything. Nerd, right. Nerds will like to watch it, so. Yeah, yeah. Hey, nerds, by the way, all of our uh, center fire ammo today, except for the 12 gauge, of course, is hardball rounds. We're using it uh, across the board, hardball, except for that extreme penetrator. Uh, all of your heads just about popped off last time when we did the, uh, the homemade HDPE uh, body armor because some rounds were hollow points and some rounds were hardball. They were, they were different calibers, so you couldn't compare them either, either way. You know? Up next, we've got 12 gauge, buckshot, nine pellet. Let's see what it does. Damn. In this shot, we had a really neat plasmatic display. And I gotta say, I did not expect that to happen. Anything, anything happened that time? Any cracks or chips or... There is nothing. We got... What we counted, I believe, to be eight of the nine pellets at least hit this thing and uh, just left a bunch of scuffs on here. Didn't do any uh, indentations, didn't do any cracking, chipping, divots, nothing. What's kind of cool, if you can look down here, look at this uh, blast where all the lead is, was uh, sheared down. Yeah, it's just like a, like a laser beam. Yeah. Up next, we have a hardball, 62 grain, 223. There was a flash. Oh, my ears. Oh, I love that smell. There was a hell of a flash. <laughs> the 223 is a small but very fast little bullet. Yes, it broke the plate, but it definitely stopped the bullet and sent it flying off to the right. Okay, we have a breakage again. It's like a puzzle for simpletons. <laughs> In fact, it was. Such a puzzle for simpletons. I was over here trying to figure out how to get this piece in there. It's even got a colored dot on it. Uh, yeah, look at that. Hit down low here, made, left some uh, copper jacket, but just shattered that thing. Yep. And just the tiniest little bit of a divot in it. Okay. It really likes to I, I, I thought there was going to be a, a chance, since these are quite thin, of them breaking. Up next. A steel dumbbell. By the ballistic machinist. I don't think a woman has ever shot one of these. Whoa, this is, this is a world's time, first. First time ever? This first is. time ever. Safety glasses on. Ears on. And I think this. Kick like a mule. It's supposed to kick pretty hard. 
I'm shaking in my heel. <laughs> Oh, look at Whoa. that. Whoa. Mm, crap. Broke it. A part. <laughs> <laughs> that was some shatter. Whoa. Mm, crap. Broke it. A part. <laughs> The all steel dumbbell slug did not penetrate the plate, in fact, I think it sustained more damage than the plate itself. That is a very hard recoiling slug and Brianna handled it quite well. In fact, she told us that she'd happily shoot a few more if we needed to. Well, I think, uh... It that, entered it. it. That one did the yeah. most damage. Oh yeah, did this it? one actually left a little yeah. bit of a dent this time. Blew it apart into, ouch, it's sharp it apart into pieces and what's cool is Stony here got thrown about 25 feet back there and landed against the berm that's how much that power. was a tremendous hit that was awesome I so think it's cracked awesome. here there's a hairline fracture there there's a hairline fracture here the crazy thing is it it, it technically stopped all the round yeah. but it, it it broke in the process you know yeah, it's dumped all of its energy by the time it cracked mm -hmm. it but yeah would you wear this as body armor though? It'd be very heavy to carry something, yes, especially if it's anything good. larger, and it'd be like, it would bankrupt you because right. it would probably be like $10,000 for a. Plus, out. your AR500 would be lighter than this, cheaper than this, probably have a better. And not as brittle. Yeah, not as brittle, right. This is shattered every time. So it is, is it, it, it is a, a brittle metal, you know, it, when it's in a thin form. It, when, when we shot that cube a few years ago, that thick two inch cube, um, being so thick gave it a lot of a durability yeah, too. Yeah, that cube obviously didn't shatter, but we hit it with even an AR-15 and it just made little little divots in it. Little pockmark, yeah. sent that thing flying out. We had to go chase it around, you know, 50 and it, it was heavy too. It, right. I think it weighed like six pounds or something. All right, up next we have a Russian SKS with a uh, commie round inside. <laughs> <laughs> 76239. Steel core. Okay, we're ready. It shoots faster because of the bayonet. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it more accurate. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Point oh. knife at target, pull trigger. <laughs> theme music. Okay. She comes with her own theme music. Oh, it's still going. Did it ever stop? Ooh, look Yikes. at that. Pieces everywhere. There was a big enough piece of the thinner 7mm plate left, so we wanted to see what a rifle round would do to it. We kind of expected it to break apart. That one wrecked it. A little different type of damage though. Yes. Yeah. So all we saw was pieces flying and when we came up here and put them back together, we noticed that not only did it break, uh, one, one crack was on the score, but it also broke up and down, which is kind of cool. It, it broke against the scoring and Brianna pointed out that it has a little bit of a dent in there, a little bit of a divot, but the, some of the other handgun rounds didn't do. I, stuff's really sharp. Almost cracked a, a big circle out of it too. Yeah, yeah there, is a, there is a fractured circle. Very hairline down here, a little bit thicker up here. And then I notice here the, the fragments that impacted our aluminum uh, Ray K plate. Oh really, down here? Look at the nasty down fragments there. Don't drag your finger across that. Shh. That's uh, all the bullet fragments just it's flying at high velocity. There's no hole here to wiggle out of. <laughs> Stop it. Come on. Can't take you anywhere. Uh, that's why we're out here. In a <laughs> now I just got to glue it back together and send it and back send to Hoy. To... He, he wanted to know if we could sign it. He'd be cool. He'd, like, that'd be really cool to sign it. Which, so which you want to sign it? I was I was I was hoping they would survive, and then we could just use at least one of them for future testing. But ne um, that ain't gonna work. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they did what he wanted them to do. See what, what they how they would withstand handgun, rifle, and shotgun rounds. Yeah. So there's no point, obviously, in shooting a 308 or a 65 because 7.62. There's not much left of yeah, either plate. We pretty much know that if we hit with all those high-powered rifle rounds, it's just gonna shatter them. Yep.
so if only we had strapped them down yeah it, it, <laughs> it wouldn't have shattered if we'd strapped it down that's true yeah it's no, I would have just had another bungee cord. <laughs> yeah. Snap the bungee cord. All right. That's it for today. Thank, Thank you, you and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for the shopping. Um, no, thanks for stopping by. We're going to see you on the next uh, next Tau Flater Mouse video. If you get an extra minute and you're super bored, you need to be put to sleep, go over and check out OG's Danger Show. Link in the description. <laughs> Dang it. I, I, I know. I've defiled your video now. <laughs>